red god is the one true god. Who's yours? Death. We don't need Yunkai. They have strong walls. They'll chip away at us, man by man. I hope the Lannisters kill you all! Mercy! No! everyone and welcome to Cooking with Thrones. We are recapping Game of Thrones seventh episode, The Bear and the Maiden Fair. And today we'll be hanging out with Mr. Kevin McHale from the hit show Glee and congratulations, you guys just got picked up for two more seasons. Thank you very much. It's very exciting. I need to follow that up by asking, are you a culinary expert? Um, no, zero no. skills. You like eating but not like mm -hmm. cooking? Love eating. I love eating too, just can't cook a darn thing, mm -hmm. which is half the fun here. Today we're going to attempt to cook black cherries with sweet cream from the official Game of Thrones cookbook, A Feast of Ice and Fire, published by Random House, written by our very good friends Chelsea Monroe Castle and Sarianne Lair. And later in the show we're going to talk to Rose Leslie, aka Egret, and she's going to tell us some of the strange things that she ate while filming in Iceland. But now, let's get cooking. The first step is we're going to take this here saucepan and put it on this heat tech tablecloth. Uh, here, see if you can grab that cream there, Kevin. All right. And pour in yon pot. The whole thing? Yeah, just dump it in there. Mm. No, not all of it. I'm kidding. Pour the whole thing in there. And uh, we're going to put some sugar in. This whole thing? Yeah, that whole thing. I like the way you're using technical terms. Sugar. This whole thing? This whole and thing. And this whole thing? Yep. Goes in this thing. Mm-hmm. I'll stir it. And literally, this is heating it up. We can't have an open flame in the studio. Okay, uh, in this episode, the scene that I was most impressed by was when Tywin was summoned by King Joffrey. Mm. Summoned by the king, who's his grandson. Right. Do you think he would have Tywin killed? But who would listen I don't, to I him? I mean, I don't know anything. I haven't read the books. That's okay. But I feel like he would do something that stupid. Well, like, who would he ask? You know, like, who's loyal enough to Joffrey? Because they know Shoot, that he's this crazy Joffrey. little kid. Nobody would do that for him. No. Okay. Let's talk about Daenerys in this scene. We haven't talked Baddest about- Baddest bitch in the planet. With the best hair. Mm -hmm. How does she travel so quickly? I feel like she is just like all over the place. Yeah, well she's got, you know, she's got a good herd of people. And by herd I mean her Kalisar. And then she's got all those no d warriors that she's traveling At with. At some point can she, well, well done. I, I only got a little- There's some yoke in there. Just a little bit though. Don't show it. Just, you could have said, hey, that's perfect. Oh. No one would have known. So she's talking to Eraz and he says, hey, we're gonna give you ships if you get away from Yunkai. We're not like Ast Astapor, because she kicked their Astapor. <laughs> um, I, give you I, ships, you leave. You didn't see anything. I didn't see a thing. Oh, what, did, <laughs> did you just dump everything in there? That's amazing. <laughs> Got everything on the table. The cool thing about cooking we didn't really shows need is that, did everything we? is pre-made and under the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. so oh. So he says, I'll give you all these ships, and she says, how about this, I'll let you live, uh, Which dude. is a pretty good offer. Yeah. I just want her to narrate my life. Like, really? Yeah. Daenerys, and because and, she speaks Valerian, she speaks Dothraki. And let's talk about it. When she switches into one of the several languages she speaks, mm -hmm. she just gets even hotter. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Okay, now we're gonna take the rest of the sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, this is, I thought this was food coloring. Yeah, we're gonna use that. We have food coloring later. <laughs> well, I was looking at it, I was like, what is this food coloring for? On uh, the flat, is perfect. <laughs> exactly what I wanted to happen. Nice work, Kevin. So, okay. as I whisk. Oh, I smell delicious. <laughs> I, I, smell, I smell like vanilla now. I'm so sorry. Can I, no, can I just like put this Yeah, on? please, like, put a dab. You know, just so people <sighs> I smell like it. ice cream. Smell a hint. All right, so, we're gonna talk about Jon Snow, fan favorite, one of mm -hmm. my favorites, and uh, Egret. I want to trust her, but he keeps talking about them. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys this, you guys that. Right. I feel like at some point she's gonna like maybe slip up and like, Go tell the rest of the guys, like, look, he's not really on our side. But they're joined by the bonds of love, Kevin. <sighs> yeah. He is her, she is his. She well, says drawn so. by the so. loins of... <laughs> he betrayed his oath, Kevin. <laughs> well, but like, he had to. He had like, to. He'd never done it before, and if no, you're gonna like, betray an oath, betray yeah, that like, one. Mm -hmm, with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop whisking. That was unnecessary, but I thought it was fun. So it's no. nice. So put the whisk wherever the hell you want to do it. And we're gonna shove this in here and we're gonna talk about one of our favorite moments on every episode of Game of Thrones, the ass shot. Where the camera just hung out for 10 minutes. Right there. On her ass. On Charlie Chaplin's granddaughter's buttocks. And she like kept trying to kick her like legs up to kind of cover it, mm -hmm. but then didn't really. Nope, no coverage, just mm -hmm. all butt. She was like, yeah, you see this. Like, yeah. What I do you mean, think? If I looked like that, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Me too. Rob Stark and, and Talisha talk about, they're in a scene, they're doing it. 
and they finish doing it. And then later in the scene, she talks about the result of doing it without protection. Mm-hmm. That there's a baby there, and he gets all excited. This is, I, I feel like it's going to go terribly wrong. Do you? Like, this is just gonna, I feel like it's gonna get real messy. All right, let's get this out of the ice bath. Oh. If you could remove the whisk, Kevin. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that, it's just thickened. Do you know why we're having black cherries soaked with cream? Because it sounds delicious? It does sound delicious, well played, but it's because when Braun is counseling Tyrion as to why he thinks Tyrion, nah, he kind of wants to, um, what's the nice way to say it, Kevin? Mm. <clears throat> Bring Sansa into the fold Adult of Adulthood? Woman? Womanhood. Yes, yeah. if you would. As he says this, he, um, he bites into a cherry. <laughs> All right, let's try these. Brilliant. Don't these have pits in them? Uh, they do, so good luck. Whoa. Damn. Is it good? I, I like it. What do you think? You can I just want to eat that with a spoon. Fair enough. You like the cream better than you like the cherries? That came out horribly wrong. I didn't even intend that, and I usually do. So uh, that's, that's a joke for Anne Boleyn's brother. I want to thank our guest, Kevin McHale, for joining us. Awesome to have you. Congrats on two more seasons of Glee. Thank you very much. Happy to be here with you. Thanks, Kevin. You're a good dude. We'll see you guys next week right here on MTV Geek. Before we go, here is Rose Leslie, a.k.a. Egret, and she's going to talk about the weirdest thing she ate while on set in Iceland. See you next week. Pit! Did you swallow it? Yep. I'm 10 years old. When we were in Iceland, I, uh, I tried reindeer and smoked whale. So yeah, very tough. Very, very tough. Um, I prefer the reindeer to the smoked whale, I have to say. <laughs>